Hello everyone, this is Bridget Mack and you're watching Elite Living. Today we will be discussing 10 things that you should never do at an interview. We'll be right back. Mistake number one. Arriving late for any interview implies that you are unorganized and shows total disregard to the company's time. It is always best to arrive at least 15 minutes prior to your interview time. Mistake number two, dressing inappropriately. Of course, anytime you apply for a position that's in a business or office environment, you want to wear a business suit. But if you are applying for a position that's in a less formal or a casual environment, you want to dress accordingly in a neat and casual attire. If you are not sure how to dress for an interview, then take the time to pay attention to the company's employees. Visit their website, pay attention to the employees once you go in to put in an application and watch their attire. That will give you a great example or an idea of what the dress codes are. Most companies these days will also include their dress code on their website. Mistake number three, poor communication skills. Of course, you do not want to ramble on and on during the interview, but you want to be clear and concise with your answers. Why do you want to work for our company? Because y'all had a job opening. Mistake number four. Showing little to no personality when answering questions. Yes. No. Maybe. Say it again. I don't know. Mistake number five, answering a cell phone during the interview. Oh, I'm so sorry, I have to get this, I'm sorry. Hello? Hey, I'm in the interview. Oh, um, I put it in the cabinet above the kitchen sink. Okay, bye. Sorry, let's get the cover. That is perhaps one of the worst mistakes that you can possibly make. Once preparing for an interview, be sure to leave your cell phone either in your car or put it on vibrate before entering in to speak with your potential employers. Mistake number six, bad mouthing former employees. Have you ever been fired from your job before? Yes, I have. My no good for net manager fired me trying to accuse me of stealing. I don't steal, okay? I don't steal. He need to be worried about his wife and how she always coming up here trying to sneak off with that dude over there and shipping. That's what he need to be doing. I was trying to accuse me of so always watching me, always watching me. I don't steal. Mm-hmm. Okay. The worst thing that you can do is come off as hostile or angry during an interview. If you feel that you were unfairly released from a former place of employment, by all means, be honest, but you don't want to come off as hostile. Here's an example. Yes, I was released from my former place of employment. No, I do not feel that I was at fault, but I do feel that if I had the chance to properly communicate my side of the story with my supervisor, perhaps things would have been handled differently. If your release was your fault, and it was because of your doing, be honest. Yes, I was released from my former place of employment, during that time, I was not the best employee, but since then, I have learned a lot from my mistakes and I've taken the proper precautions to make sure that at my next place that I show that the best that I can possibly be. Mistake number seven. Think before you speak when asked this question. What is your biggest weakness? I got an attitude. No one wants to hire someone with an attitude problem. If you have problems with your temper, then take whatever precautionary measures you need to do to get it under control, whether it may be prayer, therapy, or anger management classes. Also, don't be afraid to take your weaknesses and use them as a teaching tool to help you become a better, more effective employee. Mistake number eight. Rambling during your interview. Okay, could you please tell me, what do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, wow, um, that's a hard question. Um, where am I going to be 10 years from now? Um, I really haven't thought that far. Um, how old am I? I'm 36. Um, I guess I'm really just going through down a path of self-discovery because I just broke up with Ramon and I feel like my life is over. I mean, I thought that we were going to be together forever. I mean, I gave that man three weeks of my life. And so I am just now in a position of, you know, trying to find out what makes me happy. I mean, 
everything's just shock. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to pay for my condo or my BMW. I mean, I honestly thought that I was going to be with him in the next 10 years. So I really don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But the reason why I applied for the senior VP position was because I needed to find a position that was going to, or do something that was going to make me feel important or feel special because Ramon made me feel special. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> see myself really, really being successful at this company. <laughs> Could you get her some tissue, please? Be sure to turn your application or resume in on clean, crisp, stain-free paper. Always make sure that your handwriting is neat and legible. Failing to follow up after an interview. Be sure to send your potential employer a quick note or email thanking them for taking the time to give you an interview. This will be a great time to also reiterate your interest in their company. Be sure to keep these 10 major no-nos in mind when preparing for your next interview. Make eye contact, be confident, and always be yourself. This has been Bridget Mack and you've been watching Elite Living. Happy interview!